Hi. So this is going to be a long-lasting summer makeup routine where even though it's really, really hot out because there have been five heat waves in a row that have hit you somewhere in the United States already this summer, uh, your makeup doesn't <laughs> melt off your face after you've been outside for more than five minutes. Um, it's also going to be focused on hopefully makeup that doesn't exacerbate your acne. I have really oily skin and this summer in the heat and the oil on my face, I have breakouts all over my face. It's actually a pretty good day for me this summer. Uh, it's been really a lot worse the last two months. Uh, so also things that won't make your acne worse. So the first thing we're going to do is prime everything on your face. Um, if you have really oily skin, like me, and it's really hot out, you need to <laughs> prime your face or use a setting spray or something. I'm using the Becca Ever Matte, which I have like in a little tub from Sephora. And this is just a mattifying primer. Um, and I just kind of like pat it on my skin. Um, and before this, I just had moisturizer on my face. Um, now I'm going to prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, this is the original one. So I'm just going to put this on now so that it's dried by the time I get to my eyes. I just take a little bit, smooth it on my eyes. All over the place. Alright, so I'm going to spot conceal my pimples with MAC Studio Finish Concealer. Um, and it's just a little pot concealer. I'm using a MAC 275 brush, which is one of these like fluffy angly brushes. These are like eyeshadow brushes. Um, but I use it for concealer, so you just kind of like rub it around or dip it in or however you want to do it. And you just kind of spot conceal. And these fluffy brushes really help with blending everything out. So you don't have to kind of dot it in and like go back with your fingers and blend it out or any of that business. It really just kind of does all the work. Your brush does all the work for you. And then you don't have to be like touching your pimples and spreading any weird, any of the bacteria, weird bacteria in your pimples. You just kind of wash your brush when you're done. And what are your pimples? This might take a while. <laughs> As mentioned previously, I'm like really breaking out. So now I'm all concealed, and what I'm going to do next is um, just powder my whole face. I'm not going to put any liquid foundation on because it will melt. Anything that's like liquid will melt off my face. So I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in medium. Um, and it's just like a setting powder. You can use it as a setting powder or over concealer like this um, kind of like foundation. Just swirl my brush in it, and I just kind of tap it over my face first set all of the concealer that I put down, not jostle it around. Um, and then I can kind of go back with a second layer and just kind of smooth everything over. Just kind of rub it around. Like that. Oh, and this is a Sigma F30 large powder brush. Um, so next I'm going to put on some bronzer. It's summer and I'm a pale person, but it's still summer. It should glow a little. Using the Benefit Hula bronzer. I love this bronzer. It's matte. Kind of slide it out on the inside. I'm just gonna use the same brush, kind of like tap it in a little bit and start at the back of your face. And then I kind of do like the three U shape. Like that. And it just kind of warms up your face. It looks really natural because it's matte. Kind of hit the high points. All right. So for blush today, I'm going to be using the Nars Pierre Hardy Rotond blush. This is the orangey one in this collection. Or two brush blushes, so I'm just going to like dab my brush in once and put it on my cheeks. I'm like, I don't know if you can tell, but I like barely touched my brush into this blush and it's like, bam, cool. You really don't need a lot of it. Um, and this is the Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush. And I use powder products because they just last longer on my oily skin during the summer. It's just, it's just the way it is. Um, so we're going to go really natural with our eyes. 
the brushes, brushes. Um, and we're going to use the Naked Basics palette. Just like something really neutral and nice. Um, so, you guys probably know. But the Naked Basics has five matte colors and one shimmery color. What you're going to do is take the shimmery color Venus all over a brush. Just going to pop that all over your eyelid. Just like that. Underneath your brow bone, I'm going to pop Foxy under my brow bone. Just like the cream kind of shade. Just kind of, I really like matte highlights under my brow bone. And then I'm going to take Naked 2, pop that through my crease. So I'm just going to kind of place the brush in the socket of my eye, like where the fold of my eye is, where you can feel like the bone in there. Just kind of define the socket. Again. Here. So you can deepen it up if you want with the darker colors in the palette. I want to keep it like really fresh and natural looking. So I'm actually just going to move it just like this. Um, so now I'm going to do my under eye concealer. I always wait to do it after uh, I've done my eyeshadows. Um, today I'm using the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Brightening Eye Perfector. It's a little click pen. comes out the top. <laughs> I've clicked it already, so there's the stuff. I have O5 Fair. And I'm just kind of like dab it on. Dig my war paint. And you just kind of like tap it in to your skin. Just like that. Alright, so now because I can't ever, I can't, I can't not wear liquid liner. I'm gonna wear some liquid liner to make this less natural. You could just skip right to mascara right now. Um, do not pass liquid liner. Do not collect cat eye flick. Uh, this is L'Oreal Paris Carbon Black Liner Intense, the felt tip liner. It has like the balls on it in your cheek. And this is what like the navy thing looks like. Let's see it against my forehead right there. Um, but I'm gonna have to look into my mirror for this. And I have to use both my hands when I do liquid liner, so please excuse me. And then sometimes you mess up and get liquid liner on your eye. But that's alright. So what I'm gonna do is gonna get a Q-tip. I'm gonna fix this guy right here. Got all funky on me. We have a Q-tip. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the Q-tip a little bit wet. Or, um, like just a little though. And then kind of tap it off with you. Kind of like tap dry a little bit. Don't want it really wet, you just want it like damp. Mm -hmm. Toilet, just ball the fuzzy together. What you're gonna do is slide it along top of your liquid liner. Like that. Smooth out the line. And like twirl the q-tip around as you go so you don't use the same side of the q-tip if you have to like do it more than one time. Swipe it across more than once, um, because otherwise it'll like put black back down where you probably don't want it. <laughs> um, and now the other one. Okay, so now both of the eyes are done. Ta da. And we're gonna take some mascara now and put mascara on. I'm using the Clinique, Clinique High Impact Mascara and their Bottom Lash Mascara, and I got this in like a gift with purchase from Clinique one time, and it's like double-sided. So on one side, it has their high-impact mascara, on one side it has their bottom lash mascara. And I actually really like this, like as a sample. I think if they sold this double-ended one as actual mascara, it'd be awesome. And then on the other side, you'd have bottom lash mascara, which is like this teeny little wand. Oh, I forgot to do my brows. Okay. So, <laughs> just take like a little angle brush to do your brows with. Um, this is the Sigma Small Angle E65. We're going to use the Naked Basics palette again. Um, so I mix Naked 2 and Faint for my brow because I have pretty dark hair. Um, but you could just use Naked 2 or just use Faint or whatever you want. And I'm just going to run the powder through my brows.
All right. So now I'm going to highlight my face because I have now like super mattified my face. It's all powder. Um, not one would term like a glowy summer makeup tutorial. And you can skip this part if you're like, oh, I like being matte and not oily because I feel you. Uh, but I'm going to add a little bit of Soft and Gentle by MAC. It's one of their mineralized skin finishes. It's highlight color. It's like very bronzy and pretty just to the top of my cheekbone right here. And you can like take a little bit right over the tops of your brows. Kind of make the C shape. It's really pretty when it catches the light. So yeah, you can see that my cheeks are all shimmery. <laughs> um, and then on your lips, I normally put on like a chapstick or a lip gloss or something in the summer. Um, I really don't wear a lot of lipstick this time of year. I'm wearing, I'm going to do the MAC Cream Sheen Glass in Imperial Light today. This came out in the All About Orange collection. And there you go. This is it. I have found a nice long wearing makeup look and it just looks light and fresh um, and it will look a lot more natural if you don't wear liquid liner with it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this long lasting makeup tutorial for summer and for acne prone skin. Um, I found that this way my acne doesn't get worse after a day of wearing makeup. Thanks for watching. Bye!